Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after reaching the bottom floor of the Taniba Steps. Or maybe not the bottom, bottom floor, because there waits death in the form of the spawn of Robogog, which we have yet to meet. Um, I'm assuming it's not gonna be a um, fluffy white bunny, and more so something that perhaps devours fluffy white bunnies? that are capable of tearing the necks of various knights, etc, etc. Um... I mean, I guess we should finish this off, but... If the previous bosses have been in any indication, then I think maybe we should leave this till later. Yeah. Or at least that's the mindset that I had before I skipped a... Well, not a couple of weeks, but rather I think like 10 days or so. So we completed these things. Um... Oh, without incident, and uh, I'll try to know that jazz. I could read through them, but I mean, what's the point? I've already read through like a million of them anyways, so it's all good. Um, so yeah, I think we might leave the spawn of Robogog till later. Perhaps after we have beaten the game? <laughs> or maybe close to. Yeah, but it does seem like there's something happening, so... Maybe we can finally move on with our lives. Oh, I also ranked up, uh our military in between episodes, so that's what I spent the uh, week on, I guess. Um, and I also, I already mentioned these ones, so I think we're good. Yeah, do we need to do anything else? Oh shoot, what we should do is definitely find a way into Nyrissa's dream. Um, when is Old Man McGee gonna be done? In about a week. All right then, Harem. I guess it's up to you, buddy. Go for it. Fantastic. Alright, um, I guess we'll see what Lindsay and Ragongar want. Um, can I speak to Ragongar first, though? Because I'm sure Lindsay's thing is... Oh. Oh, right, right. I'm not actually inside the, um, the capital. Or, rather, I am, but not really. So, something else I did in between episodes was change out my crew, um... I switched out Amiri for Knock Knock because I thought that we might be heading to the Taniba Steps, but uh, all things considered, maybe, maybe it's better to try that later. Yeah. So Knock Knock, or maybe Jubilost. Let's switch you guys out for someone else. Oh, so um, I also went into my throne room to um, drop off some of my gear. Uh, so I did that, and then I noticed that, um, what was it? Uh, Jubilost here had all of his, uh, spells, like, not memorized? I think when he became the, uh, dog or wolf with the Baleful Polymorph thing, he, he and Tristan both, uh, lost all of their spellbook content, so... Yeah, I basically had to, well, do my best to remember what spells we had before the uh, loss. So, there might be some changes here and there, um, but believe me, it's, you know, I tried my best to um, keep it as is, and uh, it's not really my fault that the game bugged out and, you know, messed up my spell book with the Baleful Polymorph garbage, but that's fine. I'm not bitter. I'm just maybe a little bit bitter. Anyways, um, I guess, what? Oh, right, we need to go to the uh, throne room. I uh, forgot what I was doing, apparently. All right, sure. This better be something important, all right? If you're not gonna be um, coming to me with something important, then, well, Lindsay Ragongar, I'm afraid your time here at our um, on our planet is done, if you know what I mean. Oh, right, our um, throne is gone, and also I got that lantern thing going on. Oops. Lindsay's cheeks are flushed and she's out of breath. It seems like she must have run all the way to the uh, throne room. Disaster. It's disaster. Your Highness. What is it, Lindsay? Aha! Fire, Your Highness! Plague, Your Highness! I know I can always count on you for good news, Lindsay. I don't want to hear it. It's probably more nonsense anyways. What is it? The whole kingdom is on fire. Well, metaphorically speaking, and some of it literally. First of all, we've got armed gangs raging, uh, ranging around, along a border with Pitax, robbing and killing people, destroying food stores and damaging any property they come across. Second, there are uh, sudden and inexplicable monsters that monster attacks being reported all throughout your lands. And third, 
There are people out there sowing dissent with rumors and songs, even handing out pamphlets mocking your failure to fix things, and encouraging the students to uh, pledge fealty to Iravetti instead. Ah, okay, so it is tied to Iravetti. Our governors are panicking. They've had to use all the funds we budgeted them from the treasury on preventing riots and mass hysteria. Several provinces have already, already refused to attempt gathering taxes from the people, claiming that just trying would be tantamount to suicide. We don't have much time. There may be no troops uh, marching against us, but more of our own regions are under attack every day. We may not have uh, catapults firing on the walls of our capital, but there is no doubt we are under siege. There are no battlefronts and no battalions, but there are plenty of uh, victims. We've been attacked without reason and without declaration of war. We have only one option. To kick Iravetti's ass and show everyone in the uh, river kingdoms just who's the master around here. Yeah, easier said than done. Why am I just hearing about this now? So you think Iravetti's behind all this? I thought the stolen lands were being used to de dealing with, um... We're used to dealing with bandits. What do we know about the monster attacks? Do we know who's spreading the propaganda? I'm assuming I can ask all. Alright, so why am I just hearing about this now? At first, no one thought these isolated events could be part of some conspiracy. Even now, it's likely few have figured it out. But these events have all developed too quickly, and in what seems to be a concerted effort, as though, as though someone were pulling the strings from behind the curtain. And there's more than enough evidence to, uh, tying these strings to Pataks. Alright, so do you think Irvedi is behind all this? Who else could it be? Bandits' attacks are increasing along the borders with Petax, and the bards spouting negative propaganda against you are singing the praises of Iravetti at the same time. Hell, he even invited you to the uh, Rush Light Tournament for the sole purpose of mocking you. Who else would the backstab their opponents in such a low, conniving way? This is just like him, that nasty, slimy, fat-headed prick. If he were right now... Lindsay clutches the air as though gripping through the throat of an invisible enemy, I guess she's force choking him. Uh, do we have any definitive proof that would allow us to formally expose Iravetti? Not yet, but I'm sure the agency hired will have uh, something we can use. It's a good idea though. Expose Iravetti. Show the whole world the uh, dirty game he's playing. It would definitely help us. Would people actually care though? When you deal with the spies, be sure to uh, keep your eyes open. Great, so I thought that the stolen lands were used to dealing with bandits. Thing is, they may be dressed like bandits, but they're behaving completely differently. Bandits wouldn't decimate the peasant population, burn their fields, and poison their uh, walls. Sorry, uh, wells. I don't know what poisoning a wall would do. Maybe if people go around licking walls, perhaps say that would be a great strategy to uh, poison everyone. Maybe um, create a, a culture where uh, people uh, lick walls every now and then. And then um, use that to uh, perhaps uh, spread to our neighboring cultures. And then once they start adopting our culture of uh, licking walls, we stop doing that in our own culture. And then we uh, poison it. Anyways, um, very long plan, I know. Then there wouldn't be any one to extort next time. Much more profitable just to shake them down every once in a while. That's why local thugs tend to be well known. But nobody recognizes these new ones. And all that's left behind after their... Raids our corpses and scorched fields. It's gotten to the point that our bandits are fighting these outsiders. Some of the villagers are even uh, gathering weapons and supplies to help our bandits because they at least let them leave, but they're still losing. All right, so what do know? What do we know about the monster attacks? The reports are controversial. They talk about things you wouldn't even hear in fairy tales: educated wyverns, trolls wearing armor, and even undetectable goblin ghosts. But all the uh, testimonies agree on one thing. They emerge in small groups, literally from nowhere, in the middle of a field, in the center of a, of a city square, on fortress parapets. One in reported monsters rushing into a common, into the common hall from uh, bedrooms and storerooms. And in the uh, temple nearby, the monsters fell down from the, on the heads of the praying congregation, breaking through the roof with a wild, wild roar. Just a few hours ago, a messenger showed up at the castle with a massive offering, the services of a group of uh, rangers who specialize in investigating mysterious cases similar to these. For a small fee, they are ready to facilitate establishing the nature of these inexplicable events. Or something like that. 
I suppose we should take them up on it. I have no idea how else we'd go about finding the source of these attacks. Alright, so who's spreading the uh, propaganda? Uh, yes and no. The bards handing out pamphlets and singing slander about you have all have all been seen in the city streets, but none have been caught. Obviously, some place in Patax is training these people and printing up their pamphlets. And judging by the style and quality of the text, someone from the uh, Pitaxis Academy Grand Arts was taxed with this mudslinging. I'd recognize their style of verse from a mile away. I have very good eyesight. If I were you, that's what I'd start looking for agitators. Alright, well that's enough talk then. That's no uh, time to waste. Wait, so can we actually go to Patax now? Fortunately, the situation could be worse. Your decisive victory in the Rushlight Tournament really bolstered the people's faith in you and your abilities. It's funny how such nonsense can affect people's minds more than uh, real feats and atrocities do. But this works out in your favor. Thanks to that victory, we'll have a, a little more time to deal with whatever vile acts that madman from Pitax throws at us. Great. Um, can I turn off my lantern before I meet with Rigongar? Because I forgot that you have dragon wings. Uh, Thumbrosi Macortes, here's the thing. We whipped Numeria into line and made a good show of it, but we lost a lot of soldiers along the way. Our good neighbors must be all imagining how they'd all how they they'll divide to our territories between them. Uh how they'll to divide our territories sorry, uh, that's what I was that's what I'd be doing in their position. We have to renew our ranks before it's too late. You could call up the local citizens. However, all the volunteers are either already recruited or six feet underground. That means we either take in the weaklings or do it by force. We'll train them to kill, and then one fine morning they'll take a blade in the heart. Not a bright future, eh? It's best to pay the mercenaries. That bunch of daredevils is dreaming of fighting a, for a war chief like you. Um, and these guys are tough and dangerous men, not some untrained farmhands. 250 BP? Alright, so I guess that's mercenaries. Sure. Don't trust the mercenary army, they've got nothing to lose in defeat. Let us begin a period of mandatory military service. Unrest worsens? Or we've just defeated the barbarians from the north, no other enemy will dare challenge us, let's just leave things as it is. Um, I think we actually have the BP for it, so yeah. Let's do it. I'll stick with a uh, strike a bargain with the mercenaries. I'd have joined them if I hadn't become your general. Lot, loads of weapons, pockets full of gold, and no trace of remorse. That's my kind of party. Okay, um... Alright, great, thanks, Mr. Um, Edgelord. Sure. Balkan? What do you want? Oil of unholiness. Is that just your body oils just... fucking siphoned into a bottle? That's disgusting, Balkan. That is disgusting. Get the hell out of my fucking court. My god, he's just bottling up his body oils and who knows what else, right? Okay, so half plate of hatred. Wait, what about the onslaught? I thought you were working on the onslaught. No, did I do I have to like tell him to work on the onslaught or something? Ah, jeez. All right. We got more dudes coming in. Fiery eye. Why have you give, given me your pink eye? What the fuck, man? I don't want your dirty pink eye. Who knows what kind of shit's in that thing? Swift blow. Well, I mean, I guess a quick blowjob every now and then is not a bad idea. All right, great. Um, what new shit did I just acquire? All right. N uh, date from newest to oldest. Swift blow is a two-handed greatsword. Sure. Fiery eye is a composite short bow. Great, and half plate of hatred. Okay, so increased at AC against the orcs, giants, and goblinoids. Gotcha, and the oil of unholiness. Oh, that is disgusting. Alright, well, I don't know if we necessarily need to uh, bring any of these. I guess maybe um, Octavia could benefit from that, possibly. Alright, Octavia, what do you have now? You have the composite short bow plus one. Alright, well, I think we definitely want to give you the, um, fiery eye then. Enjoy. And I'll put the other one in the, uh, thingamajig. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, so I guess since we can actually go to, um, 
Patax, we might want to consider bringing Octavia. Although, you know what, I think maybe we'll scope out the area first and then we'll decide on whether or not we want to uh, bring her along. Oh, Defenders of the Land plus oh, two. Great, and I guess I still have enough BP on the Trail of Monsters. All right, so that will have to wait until one of those two chuckleheads are ready. And of course, that'll most likely be the uh, Storyteller in about a, seven days. All right, then I guess um, maybe I'll get Regongard to work on this. So let me just quickly buy 200 BP. Sure. And fantastic. All right, so while that's happening, I guess maybe we'll head out towards Patax and see if we can't enter that place. Yeah. I mean, we could wait for more shit to happen, but nah, that's fine. And I'm actually really scared to fight the uh, spawn of Robogog. Watch it be like the most simple fight in the entire uh, fucking game. Like, um, you know, like maybe he's about the size of my cat or something. You can just step on him. Not that I would encourage us uh, stepping on cats, but you know. If you were attacked by something called the spawn of uh, Rovogog, and it had to be uh, the shape and size and smell and texture and taste and flavor of a cat, then maybe just um, stomp on it? I mean, it's either that or you get stomped on, so either way, I suppose, works. Um, Actually, I would like to purchase some more diamonds, if you don't mind. Um... And I think, hmm, I actually would like to bring uh, Knock Knock, but then do we leave Jubilost? Hmm, maybe a Miri Knock Knock, and then the uh, usual fare. Who would be more entertaining to uh, take through Patax? I think we definitely need a Miri, because otherwise we're gonna have some uh, weight issues. Um. So basically, we have four melee dudes, which I think might be a little too much. Hmm. You know what? Let's bring Jubilost. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And hopefully this works out. Knock on wood. Or should we bring uh, Octavia? Let me scope out the area first, and we'll bring Octavia and Regongar to uh, do their own, um, their, uh, their, you know, their events or something, I guess. Yeah, let's not, uh, let's not get too crazy and, um, basically kneecap ourselves with a party member that I'm not entirely used to, as it were. Okay, so we can just head over to, uh, Patax, yes? Hopefully? Or is that a no? Um, I guess we'll find out. What's the closest place to, uh, Patax? Is it, in fact, Miskatonic? No, it's got to be Salem, right? Alright, so from Miskatonic, it would be how long? A day and one hour. From Salem. Mm, what about Kadath? Kadath, I'm assuming it's longer. 18 hours. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, And Salem would be... 18 hours. So either way, the same thing. Gotcha. All right, um, then I suppose we'll just head on over. Sure, that's going to take 18 hours. Of course, we will be losing our buffs along the way, which is unfortunate, but... Whoa! Oh! This is where King Irovedi servants gather monsters before sending them to wreak havoc in your... In your what? Really? Okay, I guess we discovered the menagerie. All right, um... I see. An organization of ranger mages contacted our kingdom. They are ready to determine the source of this threat for a small reward. Can I just go deal with it myself? Without paying those mercenaries or whatever? Gotta be, right? Yeah, look at that. We can actually just enter the menagerie. Alright, well, let's investigate this. Strap on our investigating shoes and investigating strap on and go, um... Go put our investigating, uh, uh, phallus into investigating holes. Cause that's how you investigate shit, right? Obviously. Obviously. Alright, um, well, since we don't have any buffs here, 
troll guard. I'm seeing some spoilers. Un unbelievable. Did I make any mistakes with the thing? I know I added some spells here and there, like the constricting coils. Um, I may need to rejig this later on, I think. Yeah, that's not exactly set up the way that I'd like, is it? It is not good, sir. Flame strike should be on the offensive side. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm sorry about this. Uh, I'll just do this as quickly as possible, I think. Um, flame strike is level 5, level 4, 6, 7, 8, level 5. Uh, that might belong with hold person. Oh, son of a bitch. I really wish there was an easy way to do this. There you go. Um, and I guess lesser restoration there? Let me switch this up a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. Much better. I mean, not perfect, but... Still, uh... I guess I forgot to get Dispel Magic? Son of a bitch. None of this is organized properly. Aw, oh, man. Stupid Baleful Polymorph. Just letting the that assistance? fucking thing can go fuck a duck. I ha... I, I, it messed up my action bars. I'm so upset right now. Unbelievable. What is this? Ugh. I'm so offended. So incredibly offended. Alright, well, anyways, uh, sorry about that. Let's get you guys all buffed up. The nines. And false life will last 50 million years, it seems, which is great. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think I had the, uh, greater, um, thingamajig on, didn't I? Yep, that's gonna be on for five hours. Oops. That was... Extremely stupid of me. I also don't like that it was on by default. Um, can I make a complaint about that? Can I lodge a complaint with someone by any chance? Perhaps I can contact the Ministry of um, Don't Fucking Mess With My Spells. Is that in fact a uh, properly functioning ministry? Much like the uh, Ministry of Silly Walks. So, right? Any brilliant ideas? Sorry, I kind of lost myself from all the uh, jabbering and whatnot. But let's also put in a stone skin communal. And I think a delayed poison as well. Um, trolls. Now, I don't know if we necessarily need to worry about um, trolls having any elemental attacks and whatnot. So let's not, you know, account for that. There you go, kids. Enjoy. Add a little good hope. And I think we will head out now. After 50 million years. Sorry about that. I know it took like... Uh... Well, we have a lot of trolls, it seems. Valerie, go for it. Everyone else, stay put for now. We will let them... Get stuck in with Valerie first. Uh... Yeah, for Brosi, go for it, buddy. Alright, the rest of you chuckleheads can start over this side. Jubilos, start bombing. Please and thank you. And Tristan. Oh, actually, Jubilos, why don't you use the acid bomb instead? Because I think um, these guys are like anything like the trolls uh, made by Tartuccio. Then they should be somewhat resistant to fire, I think. But still um, very weak to acid. And it turns out that they might just be very weak in general. Wow. Okay. Wait, what's their AC? 28. Wow. All right, well, it turns out that maybe I have uh, overbuffed, but that's fine. I would rather be overbuffed than underbuffed. Mm. Okay. There appears to be a path down there, maybe? Sure. And a lot of, um... Step, step, step. Hay bedding here. Or straw bedding, maybe? I can't imagine it'd be very comfortable to sleep on straw. I mean... You see it all the time in like um, movies and TV shows and porno. I, I uh, not 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 the last one, um, but you know people sleeping or having sex uh, in um, straw bales and uh, hay bales and shit. I mean, can you imagine those pieces of like straw getting all up in your grundle and uh, various orifices? My goodness, that's gonna be hail. Uh, hail? 
Uh, apparently that's gonna be hail, uh, as in frozen rain that uh, rains from the sky to um, pummel your uh, every orifice. But also it's gotta be hell, because you know um, I can't imagine getting all that shit inside of my uh, grundle, all that jazz. All right, uh, what's the Smith overseer doing that he's just dying? Apparently he decided to just stand there and die, which is, you know, fine by me, I suppose. If that's how you want to live your life, I can't really uh, complain too much, I guess. And we are doing very well here, which, not gonna lie, does concern me. Why are we doing so well? Is it because we are actually doing well, or is it because someone is trying to lure me into a sense of false security? Most likely the latter. Yeah, I, I've seen this kind of stuff before. Um, you know, growing up back in the day, and my grand pooba will just uh, pop out of the woods and then uh, smack me uh, across the face uh, just to uh, make sure that I am ready for anything, basically. I mean, what? Piece of sky metal? Wait, how many more do we need? Do we know? Thunder crack, which unfortunately is not um, crack cocaine. Um, Sold by someone named Thunder. Steel Wind. A monk weapon. Oh, it's a Psy, I see. Okay, well, I mean, Ferrosi's fists are his monk weapon, so I don't think we necessarily need to uh, get that, but thank you. Not anything special, I don't think. All right, but yeah, um, obviously the uh, best way to uh, get training in, um, um, what's it? Uh, surprise combat is to constantly get uh, attacked and smacked around by your um, Grand Pooba. You troll snout, stay inside the circle. Ha! Huh. What does he care if he loses a few toes though? He'll grow new ones. Yeah, stand as you want. No worries. He. <laughs> well, where should we? Uh, where should we uh, throw this batch? Oh, I see. So they're literally teleporting dudes into our. What? Nerd Zottenroppel? Wait. Are you related to Jubilost? Isn't that the same surname? How many times must I say it? Don't bother me when I... The wizard turns to you and cries out in surprise. It's none other than Nerd Zottenroppel. The prank... Oh! I remember the prank-loving participant in the unconsequent uh, debates. Ah! Here you are, Fabrosi McCortez. I've been waiting for you for some time. Yerovity was afraid you would find us immediately, but uh, he obviously overestimated your abilities. Hee hee hee. Oh. A familiar face. Where are your frog brothers? Are they going to jump out from around the corner? Mmm! An unexpected encounter at, at an unexpected place, Jubilus frowns. I fear your pranks have gone far uh, too far, Lady Zottenroppel. Oh, uh, Fabrosima Cortez, you brought your charming friend with you. Why don't you come a little closer, Sir Jubilus? I have a few delightfully fun spells in stock just for you. Nerd winks. Her words seem careless and fun, but there's a creepy undertone. Are you the one sending monsters to my lands? Why did you agree to work with Irvedi? Are you the one sending monsters to my lands? I say as the evidence is right before me. Who else? The great and terrible nerd Zottenroppel. The world famous wizard and master of teleportation. I like playing with you very much, Verbosima Cortez. Without you there, the inconsequent debates would have been mortally boring. Mortally boring, ha! Huh? Nicely put, eh? Mmm, <clears throat> it started with turning down... A turning random passes by into frogs. It ended in the mass murder of innocent citizens by monsters. And I'm sure it was all just a mad game. In a head tormented by the bleaching. So why the fuck did you agree to uh, work with Irvedi? Oh, I don't know. I care about your Irvedi. That lewd snot rag. But you can't argue with uh, the bleaching. You turn to anyone when your hair starts to lose uh, color and the skin to fade and wrinkle. But just look at what... Ooh, at what he helped me build here. Even you must appreciate it. Find a system of underground caves and clear it of all the uh, critters. Create a gigantic teleportation circle, capable of transferring whole hordes of monsters. Breed and train huge uncontrollable beasts, then hurl them wherever you wish. Hurl them at naked guards at a uh, bathhouse, onto a bed of a merchant couple, to your privy even, or to a t uh, tower roof, haha. <laughs> and then watch them try to get down from there through a magic ball. Or better yet, drop them into a lake. Think of the spl think of the splash, haha. <laughs> what could you possibly know about the bleaching, Tiefling? You would never understand this quiet crawling terror. Jubilos looks sincerely upset. I wanted to help you during the debate, Lady Nerd. Yes, despite your love of silly pranks. 
but the creature I see before me now simply cannot be saved. Nerd pouts, mm, I didn't think you would be such a bore. It's a shame to be let down by such a, uh, by a fellow gnome. Likewise. Uh, I don't want to fight with you, let's make a deal. You know, I'm looking at this withered straw pile hiding under your helmet, and I don't think all these efforts are helping your bleaching much. Hmm. That's a good point. Ha ha ha! The face of the sorceress turns red, and a vein bulges on her forehead. Her fury echoes throughout the caves. Uh, throughout the cave. Silence, you boneheads! Guards to me, and release the wyverns! Um, oops, I guess maybe I offended her? Alright, well, run. let's go annihilate, please. Can you not die, Smilodon? Amiri? Um, Valerie, maybe stay where you are and... Fuck? Mind fog? What is that? Hopefully nothing that affects us. Knock on wood. Um... It seems that we might be... Still alive and not dying? Question mark? Alright, well, um... It seems maybe your mind fog didn't help you out that much, sir? Nerd? Well... Nerd has exploded, and I guess we're still fighting the Atroll Guard. Fantastic. Wow. All right, I'll take it. Thank you, and can we skin Nerd as well? We were sadly unable to skin Nerd. What a nerd. Unbelievable. Good grief. Don't even have, like, an enchanted uh, crossbow? Just a light crossbow, not even masterwork? Nerd, what is wrong with you? And what is mind fog? Okay. Um. Mind fog produces a bank of thin mist that weakens the mental resistance of those caught in it. Creatures in the mind fog take a negative uh, 10 penalty on wisdom checks and will saves. A creature that successfully saves against the fog is not affected and need not make further saves. Alright. Cool, so nothing too bad it seems. Gotcha. Well, um, I guess we should clear out this location before we end the episode, because I think we may have basically dealt with whatever we needed to, uh, tend to, possibly. So, assuming that none of our team members die anytime soon, we should be able to, uh, get through this fairly quickly. And you know what, I think maybe, considering how well we've been doing in this, uh, area, we might want to just forego caution and, uh, just completely annihilate and, uh, skin, um, things and whatnot. Yeah. Also, I thought for sure that we could maybe convince Nerd to, uh, turn against Iravetti, but... You know what, that's fine. Alright, so, I guess we can just go through here? So... what would the point of that have been? To maybe attack Nerd from below? Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess that's what it is, isn't it? Gotcha. Can I open this up? Oh, I can. All right, if you want to go forwards, Furbosa, you can do that. If you want to go backwards, that's fine with me as well. This is not the way it works. Oh, we have to pick the lock. I thought that maybe we had a key or something. Can you not fail next time, please? My goodness. I failed. There you go. Good grief, guys. Jeez. Some people might see this and uh, think that you're incompetent or led by a buffoon. I mean, that part is true, but still. And this too? Thank me now. Unbound Blade. Is that like in MMORPGs where um, you just looted a blade or something that's never been uh, bound to an account or something? Remember that? Uh, is that still a thing? Do MMORPGs still do that? Do MMORPGs still exist? I haven't played one in like 50 million years. So I must assume that because I haven't experienced it, uh, no one else has either. Clearly how the world works, obviously. Um, or I guess at least the world of a narcissist. Have I explored there? I have, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the, uh, place that we slipped through. Gotcha. All right, so what? This monster attack thing is just done. Wow. Fantastic. That was awesome. Holy shit. Glad that we, uh, explored around here and uh, took the path that we did because we just took out a problem of ours. Great. Alright, well, I think now would be a good time to end the episode. We will come back tomorrow, and I think we will start making our way down to, um... To a Patax itself. And then maybe we can go deal with the uh, people spreading pop propaganda, etc, etc, and all that jazz. We'll see. 
Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.